Oh, I know, an ice cream maker and a stuffed uniform, for sure. Oh, hi friends! Welcome to Lake Winkins Online Family Experience. I'm Ms. Rachel, and I was just working on my Christmas list. Has anyone else heard theirs yet? Oh, uh, I have. Oh, that's great to hear, Pastor Ethan. You know, Christmas isn't that far off. So what's on your list? Uh, a new hat, a board game, a basketball, and a screwdriver set. You're only asking for four things? Isn't that list a little short? No, I don't think so. Why? What's all on your list? Oh, well, <laughs> since you asked... And then I'm also open to having some gift cards. I have a dozen or so different ideas uh, for it. Miss Rachel, don't you feel a little selfish and greedy and wanting all those things? Well, it's not selfish, Pastor Ethan. It's being thorough and providing options. Yeah, but do you really need those things? Like a pottery wheel and, and a disco ball? Is your life going to be that much better with them? Well, to be honest, I don't really know, but I'll let you know when I get them. D do you always ask for so much stuff? Well, yes. And do you get it all? Well... No. Then what do you do? Oh, well, I just add them to my birthday list. Uh, Miss Rachel, I, I think you need to keep in mind what we talked about last week. Let me put it up on the screen for you. Contentment is learning to be okay with what you have. I'll count to three and then we'll say it together. One, two, three. Contentment is learning to be okay with what you have. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So, if I'm to take a look at all the things I have, I shouldn't feel like I need more things. I should be alright with all of that. Huh. I should be okay with that, what I already have. Um, it seems kind of hard. Is it actually wrong to want more? I'm not sure. Maybe we better check the Bible to find out. Then he said to them, watch out. Be on your guard against wanting to have more and more things. Life is not made up of how much a person has. Luke 12, 15, nerve. It sounds like Jesus is saying be careful and don't get caught up in wanting more stuff because having more stuff is not the point of life. It won't actually make you happy because life is about so much more than just stuff. Huh. So, while slime kits and Pokemon cards are fun, it's not really what life is about. That's interesting. I'm suddenly not too sure about my Christmas list. I'm gonna have to think on it. All right, now it's time to rehearse the verse. Then he said to them, watch out. Be on your guard against wanting to have more and more things. Life is not made up of how much a person has. Luke 12, 15, nerve. And for our memory verse challenge today, we are going to work at looking up this verse in the Bible. So to find the book of Luke, you can either turn to the third book in the New Testament or check out the table of contents at the front of the Bible. Once you find Luke, you'll need to look for the big number 12 and the little number 15. Press pause while you work at finding our verse. Do you have it? Perfect. Let's work at reading it all together now. Then he said to them, watch out. Be on your guard against wanting to have more and more things. Life is not made up of how much a person has. Luke 12, 15, nerve. Good job. Let's try it one more time in a loud and clear voice. Then he said to them, watch out. Be on your guard against wanting to have more and more things. Life is not made up of how much a person has. Luke 12, 15, nerve. Great job, guys. So contentment, what is it again? Well, contentment is learning to be okay with what you have. And our bottom line, or our focus point of today is, wanting more and more can make you miserable. Let's say it together. One, two, three. Wanting more and more can make you miserable. Oh, well, I don't want to be miserable. It, it just sounds miserable. I think I need some help. Let's head over to the Zone So Show. Woo! 
Oh, this is nice. Nice. Yeah, it's so peaceful. You, th you think this is p peaceful? <laughs> Who would have thought that riding a bike would be so easy? Uh, what are you? Are you even? You're not pedaling? No! Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do oh, I'm half crazy. Go! Oh. Everybody, I'm John. And I'm Brandon, and you're watching The So-and-So Show. You know what I love about you, Brandon? Uh, how I'm such a faithful friend. <laughs> no. I love the way you look at the camera after I've done something amazing. Oh. But yeah, yeah, like you're speechless in my presence because of how awesome I am. It's... Yeah, it's just like that. See, he's doing it right now. Okay, if you need me to tone down my awesomeness, you just let me know so, so you don't feel overwhelmed by it. Just, just, just let me know. I think I can manage. You sure? Yeah. You sure? I mean, we could, we could come up with a secret code word like grapefruit. You know, anytime you say the word, I'll know to be less distractingly amazing. Okay, fine. Grapefruit. Well, well it can't be grapefruit now. Why not? Well, because I said, I just told you it's a secret code word. It's secret. Yeah, but if it's a secret from you, how will you know I'm saying it? It's all part of the code. It's maybe. There! <laughs> I just love that about you, Brandon. Yeah, makes me feel good. It's time for someone who knows stuff. Thank you so much for having me on the show today. Yeah. I was totally starting to run out of new content ideas for my feeds. Oh. Your, your what? Your feeds? Yes. Uh, you know, on social. Sysoc, a media post, hair book. Yeah, Cassie's what they call an influencer. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, let's do that again. Ready? Okay, okay. <laughs> Perfect. Oh! Brandon, ready? Okay. Oh. oh unless, yes. Wait, do I do the sideways? It's or? okay. It's too late. They I'm love film videos. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay, so what, uh, yeah, wait, you're not posting that, are you? Oh, it's already done. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Oh, <gasps> already have some likes. Already? That mm -hmm. fast? Yeah, yeah, the faster the better, right, Cass? Uh, yep. I need likes immediately in order to get more than my influencer rival, Social Sal the Gal Pal. Oh. oh. So, hey, so, Cassie, before we go any further, for the sake of our viewers, tell us who you are and what you know. Oh, I'm Cassie. My awesome cousin. That's right. And like John said, I'm an online influencer. I post videos, photos, blogs, tutorials, quotes, pretty much anything else that you can think of. Wow. <gasps> Say cheese. Oh, oh gouda, 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 oh, gouda, gouda, cheese. <laughs> so you do this to, to what? To inspire people? Uh, yes. Uh, plus, it's because I get tons of likes. Oh. <laughs> uh, the video of me and you, Brandon, it has 200 likes already. See? 200? Yeah. But I need more. I mean, you know what they say. More is more. <laughs> no, I think the phrase is less is more. Whatever. Huh? More is more. Quote for the hour check. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> so what kinds of things do you post about? Hold for hashtags. <clears throat> anyway, yeah. I pretty much post about everything. You know, food, sports, cute animals, beauty tips, homework tips, basically whatever I'm doing in the moment. So today, it's the so-and-so show! All right. All right. Say hi! Hi! Hey, hi. hey, hi. hey guys, oh. I'm at the so-and-so show. Check it out. This is a really cool place. Look at that basketball hoop. Whoa! <laughs> Let's go over here. Oh, lockers. 1985 much? <laughs> no big deal. Oh, wow. Check out this. This cool lamp. Don't get into my video. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, look at this, guys. What are you doing, John? <laughs> it's pretty cool. Anyway, hashtag follow, like, subscribe. See you later. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> so, um. Ah! Social Sal the Gal Pal has a video with 3,000 likes already. Uh, my high five fail video only has 1,500 likes. She has doubled me. I mean, what else can I do? What else can oh, I do? Oh, uh, well, uh, you know what, Cassie? Maybe you could just stop using the phone for a little bit. More likes. Okay. Hey, maybe we should just move into... Costumes. 
What? Brilliant. Uh. How did you? Everyone likes an unexpected costume change. Say cheese. Oh, go to go to go to. <laughs> Cassie, we really should move. No, on. everyone laugh. <laughs> Uh, um, uh, we need more. Maybe we should do a video of us dancing. Oh, oh, oh okay. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, Brandon, show us your moves. <laughs> grapefruit. Huh? Grapefruit. Oh, good. Uh, it's it's bubble story time with Kellen. Hey guys. Hi, Kellen. Hey, Cassie. We just started Bible story time with Kellen. Kellen is the best. And if I'm lucky, maybe he'll even ask me to help him tell the Bible story today. <laughs> what was that? Uh, Cassie does a lot of posts online. Oh, cool. So what do you say, Kellen? Can I help? My followers are waiting. I'll get more likes if you let me. I just hit 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. <gasps> I'd love your help, Cassie. But you'd have to be off your phone. Oh, yeah, sure. No problem. You should be off your phone. Yeah, no, just you give me a little. Let me hashtag. No, 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 no. Let me hashtag. No, no, no. Please, just, 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 just let it go. Like, go. Just let me try no, one. No, 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 no. You're my cousin. <sighs> Looks like we're ready to help. Great. After David and Solomon, many kings ruled the lands of Judah and Israel. Some of them listened to God, but most did not. King Ahab was worse than any other king of Israel before him. He only thought of himself and did exactly as he wanted to do. Do exactly as I want. Yes, your highness. Uh, what do you want? Hmm, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and one... Oh, it escapes me. Ah, just bring me some pears flambe. No one ever said no to King Ahab not even his wife, Queen Jezebel. Am I the most fabulous king to ever rule this land? Yes, of course, because you have me. <laughs> king Ahab was certain he had everything he could ever want. That is, until he took a drive into the neighboring town of Jezreel. Ooh, just look at that lovely vineyard. It is perfection. Stop at once. King Ahab examined the green leafy vines and the heavy bunches of grapes. What fantastic fruit! The soil must be excellent. You, over there! Who, me? Who, me, your majesty? Uh, who, me, your majesty? Of course, you! Do you own this fine vineyard? I do, your majesty. Excellent! You must sell it to me at once, and I shall turn it into a vegetable garden. No. Excuse me? Your Majesty? I'll pay good money. I'll trade you a better vineyard. I said no, Your Majesty. May the Lord keep me from giving you the land my family handed down to me. You? What? No. <laughs> King Ahab was enraged. When he returned to the palace, he threw himself down on his bed and refused to eat anything, even date cakes dipped in honey. Why are you in such a bad mood? Why won't you eat anything? Neighbor won't give me his fine yard. Oh, snap out of it. You're the king. I'll get you that vineyard. Queen Jezebel was just as bad as her husband, or maybe worse. She wrote a letter to the leaders of Naboth's town. Here is your mission, which you must accept. Number one, announce a special day and give Naboth an important seat. Two, have two bad guys sit across from Naboth and claim that he cursed God and the king. Three, drag Naboth out of the city and throw stones at him until he dies. That should clear. Queen Jezebel sent her message, and the leaders of Naboth's town followed it to the letter. Tell the queen, mission accomplished. Queen Jezebel was delighted by this terrible news and immediately went to find King Ahab. Oh, woe is me. Naboth won't give me. Get up! Take over Naboth's vineyard. He's dead. What? 
<laughs> mine! All mine! <sighs> King Ahab ordered his chariot and set off at once for Jezreel. <laughs> we'll rip out these annoying vines, plant peas, parsnips, potatoes. But even as Ahab garden partied, God spoke to the prophet Elijah. Go down to see Ahab. You will find him in Naboth's vineyard. Ahab has gone there to take it over. God gave Elijah a special message for the king. Elijah had faced Ahab before and knew the king would not be pleased to see him. Okay, here goes. Elijah traveled to Jezreel and found Ahab in the vineyard. Pull out that row of vines. Dig up the soil. King Ahab. The king turned. His eyes narrowed as he spied Elijah. <gasps> My enemy, you found me. The Lord says, haven't you murdered a man? Haven't you taken his property? Well, 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 no, no, not me personally. I, I, and now he doesn't need it anymore. <laughs> so you've done what is evil in the sight of the Lord. The Lord says, I am going to bring horrible trouble on you. You have caused Israel to sin. Oh, for once, Ahab listened to a message from God. He tore his clothes, a sign of great sorrow for what he had done. He put on the clothing people wore to show sadness. No food. Not even date cakes dipped in honey. Not even date cakes dipped in honey. King Ahab and Jezebel had made themselves miserable, taking more and more. And in the end, both of them paid for it. Wow. Rough story, Kellen. Yeah, things got ugly really fast. But sometimes things can get out of hand when we find ourselves wanting more and more. You know, Jesus once said, be on your guard against wanting to have more and more things. Life is not made up of how much a person has. So we shouldn't ever want things? Well, I don't think Jesus meant that. But if you do want something so bad that it's making you miserable, or if it's making you do something that you know is wrong. There are more important things in life than stuff. More important than followers, or views, or likes. Definitely. Thanks, Kellen. No problem, Cassie. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Bye. I think I need to change my quote for the hour. Okay. You sure? Yeah. Okay, okay. Be grateful for what you have. More is not always more. Hey, that's awesome, Cass. Oh, and it gives me a great idea for a question. Reveal the question! Oh, yes, what can you do when you find yourself wanting more and more? Yeah, like Kellen said, you can ask God to help you think about something else. Yeah. Or uh, you can focus on what someone else wants instead of focusing on just what you want. Or, or you can do what Cassie wrote. Find a way to be grateful for what you have. Don't, don't worry about what you don't have. True. And I may not have as many likes as Social Sal the Gal Pal, but I inspire plenty of people with the things that I post. You know what? You inspire me for sure. I... Like you! Hi. Ding, 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 ding! Hi. How would you answer the question, what can you do when you find yourself wanting more and more? I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And I'm Cassie. And this was The So-and-So Show. Yeah, it yes, was. it was. <laughs> what about that? <laughs> king Ahab was overcome by grief by wanting more and more. Even though he was the king and likely the richest person in the kingdom, it still wasn't enough for him. If he saw something, he wasn't happy until it was his. You know, our brains can sometimes trick us into thinking that once we get this specific thing, then we'll be happy and then we'll finally have enough. But it's not true. 
I mean, I'm guessing last year you made a Christmas list of things you wanted to have so much. And yet I'm thinking again this year you have a new list with new things you want so much. Where does it stop? Friends, it can only stop when you start choosing to be content and grateful for what you already have. See, true happiness and fulfillment, it doesn't come from the things you have, it comes from who you know, Jesus. And the more you get to know him, the more your heart is filled up with good things, like joy and peace, love and hope. And then the less stuff you'll want, because nothing from a store can compare to those things. Wanting more and more stuff can make you miserable. It's only more of Jesus that will help make your heart truly happy. It's time to bring it home now with our small group time, so long as your parent listen to today's instructions. First off, I want you and your family to walk around the house and make a list together of the things you appreciate but don't need any more of because you have enough. Now, I'm not talking about things like Brussels sprouts. I'm talking about things you really like and enjoy. Maybe you can say, I have enough video games or Lego sets or t-shirts or hair scrunchies or stuffies. Have everyone choose at least one thing that they can say they have enough of and be content with. Now press pause, complete the activity, and then come back for the second set of instructions. Now I want you to get creative and make a bookmark for your Bible using something you can find around your house. Today in Lake Point Kids, we're using paint chips and ribbons, but there's lots of things you could use. Once you put the bookmark together, then write out our bottom line and put it in the spot where our memory verse is found. Parents, now's the time to either scan the QR code on the screen or head over to the Lake Point app to fill out our online connection card. Signing our guest book lets us know who is watching and helps us stay connected to you. It also allows you to sign up for our latest Lake Point initiatives and opportunities. So kids, while your parents are busy doing that, why don't you see how many star jumps you can do in 60 seconds? your favorite Lake Point Kids online family experiences on our YouTube channel or on our Lake Point app in the family resource section. Thanks for tuning in today friends. I'll see you again next week. Same time, same place. Remember, wanting more and more can make you miserable.